I'm so happy to see you all back here on Snowbird, my sailing project. The things is going on, so I'm gonna show you right away. Can you guess where I am? Yes, that's right. I am in the engine room again. But this time, the insulation is done. Look at this fast motion. This is a couple hour job. On the stitches, I need to do the final step to place a tape. And then it will be completely done. It took more time as usual, you know, that stuff just never changed. If you plan something, it's, you know, it will be more time than you expect in the beginning. However, I am done with that. And now I can uh, go ahead with all, all the other things that I want to do. But it will be in the engine room anyway. Now I need to fix my foundation for the engine. In order to do that, I still uh, need a stainless plate. I am working until 4 p.m. The store where I can get the piece of the metal, uh, they closing down at 4 p.m. So <laughs> uh, it's really difficult for me to get uh, those stores because those special stores, they closing down a bit earlier than the other stores. But anyway, I will get it and then uh, I can uh, uh, get someone who can weld it. Pretty much after that I should be able to install it and do the glass fiber job and, and place everything back. That would be super nice because then the only thing we will be left is paint and, do the, uh, and then open the diesel tank and of course that's a nice project that gonna take a little while. Then installing the, 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 the thing that will measure how much fuel I have in my fuel tank. And an inspection hatch as well. So it's gonna be a bit project. So I will try to do something in the meanwhile, something else. Because I will stop and then I need to do something. Uh, so I'm not uh, on hold. Of course I have a front hatch to do. I really don't want to do that, I don't know why. But <coughs> anyway. I'm talking whole uh, whole summer about that, <laughs> but I I will eventually start doing that. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so let's see what I can do else instead of uh, do my foundation. From my previous video, I start painting my uh, plywood uh, with the pieces that will go in my engine room. So now they are painted. It's just one uh, layer in the back, but three layers in the front. I think uh, in the back I don't need so much paint, it's just like a little bit protection, should be enough. Now I want to install them, and by the way this screw is gonna go in the middle of the pipe, so I don't press the insulation when I screw inside the screws. So this pipe will actually let to be in the same measurements. So I'm gonna start with drilling the holes in the corner for the screws. Once that is done, I have to place up where I want it to be. So yeah, I believe this could be really good fit. Just a little bit more like this. Yes. So I'm gonna use a drill and mark out the screw places. Same drill that I use to drill the holes. And then I'm gonna do that in all the four corners. So now when I take off, I can see where actually I need to make a pipe. So now I have my pipe here. I need to cut the right length. So now I can measure where I need to cut it down. So I need to cut down here. So now when I have my piece cut, I place that piece in. Seems like it's a good fit. Now when the pipes are in, should be able to screw everything up. Though I remember that I need to place a tape on my stick places. I think I need some screws in the middle as well. Other than that, it looks quite good. All the support plates are placed on where they belong. Uh, so that job is done, so I can Make a mark that it's done. Uh, it looks uh, looks new, fresh, and uh, and most important, uh, functional. 
So now I can move and do something else because here I can't do anything anymore. I don't have a materials, I don't have a metal plate, I don't have uh, pretty much anything to, to move on with my engine room now. And how I don't like to do that, but I will push myself. So I'm gonna go to the front and do my hatch. If we're taking two episodes back, I start taking down the chain plates and you might ask me what, why I'm not continue with that. Uh, the reason is that I'm still trying to find out if those chain plates is good enough to place back. Even though it looks quite good for me, maybe I, it's something that I don't know. So it has to be strong as hell. Uh, if there is any way that it, they are not, I will replace them. But for my eye, it looks good. And I don't know how do you think, maybe you have some experience with this before and you might uh, give me some uh, good advice or tips. I am open for that. So comment below please and throw some comment if you know anything about the chain plates and how the metal should look. Let's move ahead and go to the front. Just a quick reminder how this support plate was looking before. This is how it looks now and this is how it looked before. So here we are at my front hatch. This is a job that I don't know why, but I really don't like to do that. <sighs> anyway, let's get started. So if we take the fact that I use a lot of hot glue to close the gaps so I am able to sail with the boat and then I put my dinghy on, on top of this so I protect so the water doesn't go in. I start to remember why I didn't want to do the hatch. <laughs> and this is the reason. It's a glass fiber everywhere. But at least I got so far. Got my size around. You see these things that I leave it because I can't get with my uh, multi-tool there. But I will use a stick saw to get rid of those. And then it should be the right dimension. I have to use the camera's original microphone. My Rode microphone uh, battery is too low. Anyway, let's look at this frame. This I was waiting approximately four months. And uh, I got it like two months ago. And I never check if uh, it will fit or not. Moment of true if it's gonna fit or not. This is such a surprise, but it actually fits. It's so damn good when you know that something fits and something is ordered right. Yes! <laughs> I'm gonna explain you why it was so important to have this inner frame first before I place everything together. You see the inner frame goes in here, inside, not here. Because a lot of hatches it goes inside here, not here. But in this case it goes here instead of here. So it means that the hole that I'm making right now has to be bigger just like a tiny little bit but bigger so the plastic f fits inside here I'm gonna have I'm gonna have another challenge which I will need to figure out how I gonna deal with that if you look here the distance here this is really a small frame so it's not a big distance here but it's it's about it's about three and a half centimeters the distance between the wall down there and this part is only two centimeters. In the other side it's three centimeters. In the middle is three a half centimeters. And in the side it's only two centimeters. So it means that this whole thing will be too big in both sides. That is not that I want. I will need to cut down this edge on both sides and then place some trim strip or something that will cover up. Somewhere in the previous videos I have comments below people asking me why I choose to go with such a big hatch in the front. 
It's 62 by 62. It's a big ass hatch. And I quickly explain my thoughts. First, I couldn't find a hatch that suits for the existing opening since it wasn't square. In the back it was bigger dimension, in front it was smaller dimension, so it wasn't square. So it was uh, almost impossible to find this hatch that's... Uh, well, it, it is impossible almost to find a hatch. I couldn't find it. So, my option was to go with a bigger or smaller. I choose to go with a bigger simply because it's so dark in the front. There is two small windows on the side that doesn't let the light so much in and this uh, the original hatch doesn't have even the window so I thought like no I want to have a light as max as much as possible in the front so I choose to go with a bigger I know that I will s fit it in and then the next question is how does it gonna look I think it look awesome I was sailing now it look awesome uh, when everything will be done it will look as it's supposed to be there I think but of course someone else could think something different however everyone has their own opinion I guess so something must be f and it is it's too good to be true everything goes too smooth so I will show you something <laughs> here the height is 5.5 and here the height is 6.5 and I will raise it up because I need more glass fiber and uh, even out with the fairing compound and stuff like that so it's gonna be even more it's gonna be like almost seven centimeters and then here in the middle I have three and a half centimeters which would be good see the problem right it doesn't actually go all the way up so it will not gonna cover up and I believe that this is the only inner frame option. I don't think you can get higher walls than this one. Custom order, but nobody gonna do that. I, I, I never thought about it even, because I thought it's gonna be that long. But of course, if you think about none of the walls it's so thick, none of the... None of the boats are so thick. Who could think about that uh, the thickness of the the thickness could be more than five half centimeters, right? No way. I need the straight foundation around my hatch because my hatch is not curved or anything. But this is like curved, right? So this is not straight. So this is going up. This is the highest point, and these are the lowest points. So I raised it up both sides, and now because of that it's way much higher so now I have to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do there it's a bit frustrating you see it was just too good to be true you just too good to be true I can't take my eyes off of you you be in my heaven to touch I don't wanna hold you so much I know love has arrived and I think God I'm alive I screwed up so much but I don't know what to do. Bye bye! Now I can't do anything with my front hatch as well because my multi tool break again. I think the fan is the brand. It just break down so many times. And there is one wire that comes off all the time. It just gets so much heat and it's just like almost melting because it's so close to the engine. The brand is the first brand that ever made the multi-tool and it's supposed to be a really good brand but it seems like they fuck it up something really bad. It's so bloody expensive and it does not do the job. I have uh, like four multi-tools, all of them the brand is fan and uh, they all break in the same way all the time. Everyone complaining about that. I have something in my mind which I have to figure out. I will bring you back to my act cabin as I have some projects here in the future. When I splashed the boat in the water this was actually leaking. So now I uh, want to take it off and replace with another type that I had 
before on my previous boat that was working really fine it's so simple and later on I will show you what kind of type I will place there and another project if you see this is companion way when you step down here it's two steps both of them was really really sketchy and the last step was falling apart so I will do something new here but that has to be after I'm done with the head uh, and I'm done with everything that I have to be done inside there so the act cabin actually will be the last one however the steering is really important to go longer cruising and longer distance as I'm planning to do that next year the steering is really important for me to be easy to steer so see this black cable it runs here then it goes then it goes here and then it goes to the other side see this wheel and then it runs back to here where my rudder goes down that's how it steers the boat it's like not straight line it's just going like this and this and the other side is even more worse and the uh, and the wire in the middle is just so so tight and it's really hard to steer so my idea is to make those wheels and so it goes from the steering pedestal straight here then I have one wheel there and then straight back here where I have existing wheel so I need only two wheels more I need one that divides from the steering pedestal to that direction another wheel that drives it there then it should be really easy to uh, steer the boat and that's a pretty big project too because you need to figure out and make a foundation and you need to figure out what kind of wheels I'm gonna place there so on and so on I'm gonna start with something smaller as taking away this part if you look, look inside I think this is the seal and then you just uh, screw this one more when it start leaking those who don't know here in the middle is the axle that turns the propeller around and so that part goes out propeller and the other part goes to the engine to order to keep the water outside not inside in the boat you have this part which seals up around and doesn't let the water in you just tie that up when uh, when it start leaking and it's fine the system is fine I'm still gonna change to another type where it's no any metal parts involved well this is bronze but whatever so meanwhile I decide to work with taking down the wires for my steering I managed to take off the metal plate now I am back on my act cabin I need to disconnect this to be able to take the stainless steel wire out from the tube okay my dear followers I love you all but I have to end up the vi this week's episode right here see you next week or it's a regular time 6 p.m. Friday and have a nice uh, Friday <laughs> bye bye <laughs>